In today's video, I am here to explain you what is annotated bibliography. So let's get into the video. Do you know what is annotated bibliography? An annotated bibliography is a list of source references that includes a short descriptive text which is an annotation for each source. It may be assigned as a part of the research process for a paper or as an individual assignment to gather and read relevant sources on your topic. For an annotated bibliography formats, it is considered of three formats which is APA, MLA, Chicago etc. So you have to make sure that annotated bibliography is formatted according to the guidelines of the style guide you are working with. There are three common styles which we had discussed above APA, MLA and Chicago. First let us discuss about the APA style. So what is an APA style? In APA style both the reference, entry and the annotation should be double spaced and left aligned. The reference entry itself should have a hanging indent. The annotation follows on the next line and the whole annotation should be intended to match the hanging indent. The first line of any additional paragraphs should be indented on additional time. The APA citation generator automatically formats your annotations when you download your bibliography. Let's move on to the MLA style. In an MLA style annotated bil bibliography, the works cited entry and the annotation are both double spaced and left aligned. The work, the work cited entry has a hanging indent. The annotation itself is indented in one inch and if there are two or more paragraphs in the annotation, the first line of each paragraph is intended an additional half inch but not if there is only one, one paragraph. So if you are using the MLA citation generator, your annotations will be correctly formatted when you download your bibliography. Let's move on to the third style which is Chicago style. In a Chicago style annotated bibliography, the bibliography entry itself should be a single spaced. So in Chicago style it should be single spaced, in APA style it should be uh, double spaced and should be left aligned and in the MLA style it should be intended within one inch like twice as far as the hanging indent. I think you may understand the difference between both the both these three things. Let's move on to the next one which is how to write an annotated bibliography. So this question may be having in everyone's mind. So let's discuss about it. For each store start by writing or generating a full reference entry that gives the author, title, date and other information. The annotated bibliography format varies based on the citation style you are using and the annotations themselves are usually between 50 and 200 words in length. Typically formatted as a single paragraph, this can vary depending on the word count of the assignment. The relative length and the importance of different sources and the number of sources you include. Then you have to consider these instructions which I am going to tell you now. You have been given or consult your instructor to determine what kind of annotations they are looking for. There are three types of annotations which is descriptive annotation, evaluative annotation and reflective annotation. Let's discuss about the three things. Let's first one discuss about the descriptive annotation. When the assignment is just about gathering and summarizing information focus on the key arguments and methods of each source. Then if it is evaluative annotation, when the assignment is about evaluating the sources, you should also access the validity and effectiveness of these arguments and methods. And then the last one which is reflective annotations. When the assignment is part of a large research process, you need to consider the relevance and usefulness of the sources to your own research. So these specific terms won't necessarily be used but the important thing is to understand the purpose of your assignment and you have to pick the approach that matches it best. And, and the next one which is descriptive annotation style. 
A descriptive annotation summarizes the approach and arguments of source in each objective way without attempting to the assess this validity. Okay, let's discuss briefly about these three annotations. First one, descriptive annotation. In this way, it, resemble, it resembles an abstract, but you should never just copy text from sources or the abstract as this would be considered as plagiarism or self plagiarism. So, you will naturally cover similar ground, but you should know you should also consider whether the abstract omits any important points from the full text. And the second one which is evaluative annotation style, we had already discussed uh, it, uh, it describes the content from the source, but it go goes on elevating, evaluating elements like the validity of the source arguments and the appointments of the methods. For example, this following annotation describes and evaluates the effectiveness, a book about the history of western philosophy. Let us move on to the next one which is reflective annotation. Reflective annotations are often required when the point is to gather some sources for a future research project or to access how they were used in a project you already completed. So, it can be used in future as well as in the past. So, these annotations below access the useful of a particular article for the author's own research in the field of media studies. You may have a question that what type of sources you should uh, you should use in an annotated bibliography. So, for this question I am going to answer in this video, so you will be able to clearly understand it. So, any predictable sources on your topic can be included in an annotated bibliography. The exact sources you cover will vary depending on the assignment, but you should usually focus on collecting journal articles and scholarly books. When in doubt, utilize the C or AAP test. Okay, everyone, I think this video will be helpful for you. We had discussed about what is an annotated bi bibliography and what are the styles of annotated bibliography. We had discussed about the styles like APA, MLA, Chicago, etc. And also, we briefly discussed on how to write an annotated bibliography and also the different annotation types like descriptive, evaluative, reflective. We had already we had discussed about this briefly in this video, and also we had discussed about the finding sources of an annotated bi bibliography. And also, I had answered your question, what type of sources should I use in annotated bibliography? You may have some questions and doubts. If you have any doubts and questions or queries, you can contact us through the displayed WhatsApp number or you can re we reach our website or else you can comment us below. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon.